Hi everyone, good day to you. Welcome back. This is part two of this 2005 Lexus RX 330 with the 3.3 liter V6. Last episode, we removed all of this rigmarole right here and uh, pulled the timing belt off. Pulled the water pump off because we found, in fact, it did have a leak. We changed the belt, the tensioner, the pulleys, and the water pump. Now we are moving on to segment number two where we pulled this radiator and replaced the radiator for another leak. I'm not sure if it's this side or if it's that side, but there is, in fact, a leak. If you happen to miss part one of this series, just go down to this video's description and find the link at the top, and it will take you back in time to time the belt slash water pump job. So without wasting any more valuable time, let's go ahead and start pulling this thing apart, and uh, we'll get this radiator removed and replaced. Okay, first things first, let's get this little air scoop out of here. Actually, no, I've got to pull this little decorative cover off. Let's hold on with these little plastic clips. Then I can take the little scoop off. Got a feeling there's gonna be a lot of little parts, so perhaps another parts tray is best. Especially considering that I've got a habit for losing things on this car. The gravity is strong today. I think I can take this entire upper core support off. Again, a bunch of 10 mil bolts. There's two horns attached to it. Don't know what that goes to. It wasn't tight. Here, I'll just unbolt the horns and set them down. You go down there. And uh, you go down there. Oh, oh. Okay, I took this apart more than I needed to. No worries. Maybe not. I did have to unplug the plug. It's whatever. That's attached. Uh, what's going on here? Okay. Again, I'm going to change my mind and disconnect the horns anyway. My attempt to uh, reduce my amount of effort has turned into more effort. I'm gonna do that because this harness has to come up and over. But it can't do that because it's attached. There's one. Wah, 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 wah. We babbled about. Oh, come on, little clip. What are you doing? There. You lose. I win. There's one. And then there's an ambient air temp sensor down here, too. That's our temp probe. Let me flip you guys around to the other side so you can see what I'm doing here. Just getting everything unplugged. Yeah, maybe I'll do that later. And never mind, later is now. I've got the button pressed. There. Tight. Bunch of tigers tight. 
Now, I don't know if this radiator fan assembly is held in with four bolts, two at the top and two at the bottom, or just two at the top and then little tabs at the bottom. But we're about to find out. There's one at the top. There's two at the top, and the survey says it's bolted on. Okay. Um, gonna reach down here I think and do this by hand it's a tight tight squeeze what am I gonna do here and there's a hose in the way not cool it says the ray yep I'm not fit the power tool inside of this hole not a chance I can't even find what I'm looking for Oh, oh, there we go. Got one. Okay. All right. Yeah, ratchet time. I tell you, my low profile stuff has been like the hero on this job. I'm saved by this little set of wrenches over and over again. That's cool. All right, I have decided to change my mind because I can't get to the bolts at the bottom. I, I just can't reach them. So instead, I'm going to leave this here. I will disconnect the hoses, the upper hose, that one, and the lower hose, that one. I'll leave the AC condenser where it sits, and I'll just pull the radiator and fan assembly out as uh, one singular unit. That is going to be my uh, adjusted strategy. It's a revised strategy. Revision, that's what's going on. We're revising this. Being flexible. Reverse clickage. All right, two eight mils on both brackets. Yeah, this is gonna work. Right? Yes, yes, it is going to work. It is my will. I command it. Okay, condenser looks free. This isn't gonna work either. Yeah, no, it's not gonna work. I, I, I have to reach down and figure that out. I think I have to take the hose off and then move it aside. That's what I'll do next. Er, I'd rather do another timing belt. Seriously, I'm not kidding. The timing belt was easier than how this radiator is going. I don't know what the deal is. That's one clamp. Other clamp. Flashlight. Oh, that was dual flashlight gravity. Look at that. Two of them. Lost two of them. It's all that. 5G radiation messing up my magnet. That's what's going on here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay, remove this hose next. Now we're gonna be in business. Yeah, you just get shoved over there by the battery. Get out of my way. Get out of here. I know there's a bolt down there. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it so good. It's never been gotten so good. No, we're not. Taking the hose off some more. It's got me so good. It's never been gotten so good. Like, all the way gotten. The last guy who put this hose clamp in did it upside down. Okay, let's lift this thing back up. Enough screwing around. All that nonsense. Just for one singular doodly doodly doo. That was like a peak level doodly doo. See, that's my toxic trait. Just go completely out of my way and do things the hardest way possible. 
All right, back down below again. Uh, there was a cover here, I just removed it. These are trans lines, I think. Maybe power steering. I don't know. I don't know what they are, but I do know that they're in the way. Because that 10 mil bolt is like right, right there. Of course, it's backwards day. Everything I do is backwards. Yeah, all that for all this. Why? I did it to myself. Okay, coming back down again. Release. Lower. Down, down, down. Lexus going down. Okie dokie, back up top. Hey, we're right back to the original plan, just without any attempted shortcuts. You guys think about the shortcuts, they usually work out. Sometimes it's painful. It's a very painful lesson. But I don't think this radiator and condenser are separated yet. Uh, more bolts. I think there's some down below. Let's go check on that. Let's see what we get here. And yeah, there's a there's one of those screws like the ones I found up top. See right there. Let's go ahead and pull that out. Let's see. Because again, I'm trying to do a shortcut and avoid discharging the system. This whole episode is a series of shortcuts and all of them failed all right one more on the uh, on the other side here let's pan on over and we'll get that one next there it is yeah. now all i gotta do is slip and put a hole through the condenser and the, the failures will be complete got it okay back up top again one of my shortcuts is gonna work this one's gonna I'm not no I'm not discharging the AC this is the this is where I draw the line this will be the hill that I die on I'm not I'm not doing it I'm not discharging the AC I don't even care how long it takes I will be stubborn not gonna do it nope nope we're gonna do this even harder than it has to be because I'm not taking the lines off what is it? But if I'm gonna do this, I need to really, really be prepared to do this. So, I'm gonna go ahead and pull these trans lines off. I want everything out of the way. And then I'm going back in to pull this thing out without discharging the AC because I've now made up my mind. So, trans cooler lines, goodbye. You go over here. Give her a twist, and a twist, and a twist in a different direction, and a tug. Just keep twisting and tugging. There we go. These folks would like to have this car back today. They wanted it yesterday, but I couldn't do it yesterday. So it's today's project. That being said, I'd really like to get it done for them today since they needed it today. And I'm gonna assume if they needed it today, then they couldn't have it, then they're gonna really need it tomorrow. I'm off there. And if I don't get it today, then the today stuff that was supposed to be yesterday won't happen tomorrow, and then they're gonna have to wait another day. Yeah, I just don't wanna do that. Okay. It's now free of the car, with the exception of the condenser, but I'm not going to discharge. Let's see if I can pull this off. See the mounts at the bottom of the radiator go under the condenser, and then there's a lip that sticks up, so the condenser kind of sits in the mount. And I unscrewed it from the mounts, but now I have to get this up. Yeah, there we go. And then this up, and then that way. If I can coordinate all of that. Ah, another one. I hate this snap on flashlight. Crap. Anyway, other side. Yeah, this is gonna work. Now I'm gonna do it. We're gonna win. Yeah. Doo doo doo. That was a victory doodly doo. 
We're winning. Here it comes. Come here, hose. Yeah. Okay, so here's what's up. Got the lower brackets transferred over to the new radiator. Got the hose transferred back over. I'm gonna go ahead and slip these fans in right now and bolt those on out of the car and then I'll drop the whole unit into place and then bolt the condenser back in. That's the new plan. Because I don't feel like going through all of the pain that I just went through doing this the hardest way possibly imaginable. So we're gonna do this in easy way. Clicks. Those are nice and metallic. All right, silly radiator. No more fighting. We're gonna do this nice and easy. And then we're all gonna go home and have a Heineken, okay? Or two. It is Wednesday. All right, so far so good. Can you guys see the condenser? No. Now you can see the condenser up and over. The condenser is now in its mounts. The right radiator is in its mounts. Oh God, yeah. That's what I want. That's what we're looking for. This is good. Okay, bottom screws. Let's get those little guys in. There's one of them. And there's our other one. Nice, everything's lined up. Except for this other bottom screw. What's going on here? You lined up now? Nope. And now it is. Yeah. Yeah, hey, you're lined up now, aren't you? You lose, condenser. Actually, I, I think I, I lost this one. Pretty sure the condenser one kicked my butt. But I will have the last laugh. I don't know how I'm gonna achieve that, but I'm thinking about it. Condenser click right there. And uh, one more over here. There we go. Click again, right? Yeah. All right. Same thing up top. Two more mounts. <laughs> what? <laughs> he turned around. Was like, Hi. Like right here. Oh, you were like, like hovering. And he's like, oh, yes. I do that to people. I like to creep up on them and just like get right next to them and just wait. It's really exactly weird. If you teach a man for a day, he'll fish. But if you fish, the man will eat for a life. That's kind of how the saying goes. Yeah. But it's, oh. Yeah. <laughs> if you teach someone how to life, they'll live on fish forever. Yeah. Good life, good life. Wow, just wow. <laughs> I swear we're living in a cartoon. Something, something awful. I feel like we're living in a certain book. I remember reading it a long time ago. It was written when I was a kid. Okay. Maybe in the year of 1984. Oh yeah, Orwellian's 1984, yeah. yeah. That's the one. Yeah, yeah, that's the one, George Orwell. Yeah, that's the 1984. Book it wasn't gas, or it wasn't double gas. Yeah, it was just, you didn't know how to do it because that's not what your job is. Okay, I know how to and that's not the bolt. What do I do? I lost the nut that goes in there. I didn't lose it. I just don't know where I put it. I'll find out. Oh, there it is. Never mind. I found it. Anyway. Anyways, thank you for not saying anyways. It's not the proper way to say that. Clickage. Fan clickage. It's usually a bad thing, isn't it? Fan clickage. There we go. Oh, get on there, hose. And this one goes right here. Good. Then I can uh, 
bring my wiring harness back into uh, into play here. That's good. You click there. This runs up here, fits in there. This one's coming out. This one's going in. That goes right here. Yeah, now we're getting somewhere. Temp sensor plugs in down here. That's for the fan horns, not fans, horns, the horns. Right now, put the hose back up. Lower hose, we're not replacing them. They've been recently replaced, recently ish. I mean, they're not new, but I can't really justify replacing them. Uh, this is so bad. This whole episode is me not knowing what I'm doing and not, knowing, not even knowing what I'm talking about. And then dropping stuff. Click. All right, looking left again. Again, still dropping stuff. We don't need these. Bye. Wait, so you guys call me old and then you start listening to 80s music? Oh, I should have tortured more old guys when I was a kid. This is crap. They're, they're trolling me, like real life, actually trolling me. Yeah, one of the guys, he just let me know that um, I am older than his dad, which was um, very awesome to hear. I'm older than my co-worker's dad. Yeah. That goes like that. I had it flip flopping. Oh, there we go. Almost. Aha. This is all hood latch stuff right here. Uh, this fastener, that one, yep. Da, 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 da. I don't know the song, but that doesn't matter because I can sing it anyway because I'm an old guy. Woo. That's what's up. That screw goes there. Another. I need a hero. goes there. Oh, you guys are flip-flopping everywhere with this piece that I bolted you to. I guess I didn't think that through, did I? It's too late to go back now. We're all just going to suffer with the consequences. Click. There we go. Well, I guess I can hang a horn. I can do that next. Here's one. It's a horn reclick. Uh oh, running out of lumens. That's two light bar batteries dead. One day. One day, one job. And my other horn, there it is. Here's my other one. Plug you back in. Connected. Yeah, that's tight. I must have engineered it, so. <laughs> Speaking of forgetting things, I was about to forget those trans cooler lines that uh, were just connected earlier. And I did that because I changed my order of operations. 
and that would have been an absolute disaster. Okay, let's see if I can pull this clamp off without uh, blocking y'all's view here. I'm gonna go 72% uh, probability. Mm. Totally gonna wreck the view. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I gotta figure out what I'm doing. It's my first day. I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, that's good. That went well. One more. Yeah, it's not good to change a radiator and forget to install your trans cooler lines. Because then you start it, then the pump kicks on, and then it pumps all of your trans fluid on your floor. You don't notice right away because the floor is probably wet. It's always a fun time. Okay, in the home stretch. Let's go ahead and uh, get the rest of our plumbing installed. It's just the intake tubing. That goes way back there. Oh yeah, it went in. I love it when it goes in first try. Beautiful. That's the best. It's the best ever. Best clicks. One more right here. These vacuum lines clip to this component here and then they go back to where they go, which is there. Yeah. I don't know if I'm talking to you or talking to myself. I haven't figured that out yet. But I'll let you know when I get there. Mix. Okay, a couple more and we're good. That'll secure the core support. And we just need to, I think at this point, refill the coolant and run it. Okay, one last piece of plastic. There goes right there. We'll get our push clips installed. And our funnel, doing two things at once. I think that's about right. Yeah, there we go. See that? And then I switch back to clips again. I cannot keep my brain cranium focused today. I don't know why. Got plenty of sleep. Not jacked up on Red Bull and Mountain Dew, or coffee for that matter. Oh, I did have one coffee earlier. Thank you, you know who you are. Uh, na, 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 tools, don't lose those, okay. Let's get some coolant. All right, let's get the coolant topped off in this. Uh, that's antifreeze for you, uh, you cold weather types. It's the same thing. Even up north, it's actually coolant because it's designed to cool the engine. Your engine will overheat in the snow. It's physics. Our bubble action. This is gonna take forever. Uh, Stocking's the engine. Let's just go do that. We'll let the water pump do the job for us. That way we don't have to. It is alive. And we're not gushing fluid anywhere. We're good. I didn't hear the Pistons hitting the valves, we're good. Let's go ahead and purge all this air out of this thing and we're ready to rock. Which is awesome because I told this person that the uh, car would be done tomorrow and instead it will be done today. And that makes me happy on the insides. Okay, bubbles have slowed down. It's been running for a couple minutes. I'm gonna let that finish purging, wait for the thermostat to open up. out of here we don't need that well, I mean we do need that uh, I don't need to to give that away and let it drive away with the car that, that's what I meant awkward pouring things this is just the surge tank and should not be used to refill the system I do need to add probably about a half a quart of trans to it. I'll do that later.
There goes that thermostat. That's what we're looking for. And the fans are running also, by the way. Pretty quiet. Can't hear him, but I can feel it. All right, thermostat has opened. Let's add a little bit more coolant. We've got good flow now. I feel a lot of heat out of the upper hoses. Kind of running short on time. I'm trying to get out of here. I've got uh, other affairs this evening, so I don't want to dilly dally around for too long. So uh, that being said, as always, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. Actually, I hope you enjoyed both of these videos. Uh, and again, if you missed uh, the first episode of this particular vehicle, just go down and check this video's description for a link that will take you back in time to the timing belt slash water pump job. So again, thank you for watching. And uh, most importantly, do not forget to have yourselves a great day. See you guys later. End of Nexus. Uh, check this out. This is crafty. Not crappy, crafty. Minimal spillage funnel. Cat flick. down all of our nasty Let's make it nice and shiny There's too much dust here I can't like it goodbye dirtiness it's like a washer fluid tornado even a washer fluid flush long range check it out <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Goodbye, Lexos. Man, you guys really thought I was gonna go and take this uh, and turn it in and end this video and not go out and take y'all along for the test drive. Like that would be uh, that'd be like internet YouTube suicide. Like the biggest build up two videos later just to not even go for the end of episode test drive that's horrible who would do that me ha ha hey we've at least got to make sure that the the camshafts are in time right full speed ahead his camshafts are in time that actually startled me and I got out of the throttle because I heard all the noise from that doge right there and thought that my engine was flying apart. Thank you, SRT Dodge guy, for scaring me. There he goes again, watch him. It's so cool. Wow. I'm gonna go racing. Not really, I'm headed back to the shop. See you guys later, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Peace.